Hello everybody, my name is Andrew Hester and welcome back to Space Engineers. Yep, I am back in my survival world um, after, oh, yeah, it was a hiatus, but as uh, previously mentioned, uh, Death in the Family, I didn't feel like doing much of uh, anything serious, so uh, yeah, I'm back with High Charity just casually hanging off in the near distance over there anywho so um i know there's not much of a gap between uh where we last left off and uh my intentions but i'm sorry what okay anywho so um this is boiler room three or in this case oxygen uh room three um we got four, five, and then six is the last one, and then basically the Orlop, or not the Orlop, the tank top, which is um, the floor uh, from the, like, the first floor of the, the ship directly on top of the keel, which also doubled as, uh, well, water tanks, hence tank top, but I digress. So... This episode is just going to be me basically building out uh, Oxygen Room 3. So right now I'm just uh, plopping in the... Uh... No, for crying out loud. I forgot I measured the... I'm sorry, what? No, for crying out loud. Uh... Good thing this thing has gravity. So, the nice thing is, my mods still work, so yay! Um, predominantly the, um... I'm sorry. Oh, for crying out loud, that's why. Uh, predominantly my small ship, uh, mods, where... As I focus on trying to place these... And now that I see this, I'm able to... And yes, you're seeing uh, mirroring, because if I'm going to build in survival, I, mm, I know it's probably going to be one of those things that irritates some people, but... Um, Yeah, I hand-built this in survival. I don't want to hear it. If this shaves just that little bit of time, yes, I'm going to do it. Well, I say that. If it can shave time off in survival. Because, I, again, I know I mention this incessantly, but I'm going to repeat myself until I stop seeing those comments where, oh, just go into uh, survival. Oh, for crying out loud. Don't tell me up. I thought I disabled the uh, cargo ships. Um, I would just build in survival or creative. It, if you watch the time lapse video or videos that I put on the no commentary channel, you'll see that. Um, doesn't really work for me just because it I I bleh, English I am prone to making some mistakes um I'm sorry what no um it's just overall I feel like the quality is much better when I do this plus it it's still relaxing but so yeah, it, I'm just going to continue building in survival, and if I only do, I don't know, one or two hours a day, it, that's generous, although it's Sunday, so I'm actually recording. Um, I've been recording for almost two hours, so I almost have a time-lapse video to publish. Um, so yeah, it... And the reason I moved them over to the no commentary channel was, well, I mean, this is the commentary channel, so yeah, if I'm talking, here's where it goes. If not, I might as well put it over there. 
I don't know. It, it, it's just one of those things. It just seemed easier to put it over there. Okay. I. Yep, that's all the boilers. All right, time to weld them up. Well, I say weld. I want to put... I am still... T I, I love how the more I do these uh, boiler rooms, the faster I seem like I get. But by the time I hit my stride, I'm going to be out of boiler rooms to install. Although it is actually funny. When I was a kid and I had first uh, discovered um, aircraft carriers and how a lot of countries... Of course, I didn't know the specifics of why they decided to convert some ships into carriers. Um, mainly due to the Washington Naval Treaty. But again, I'm like 10, so obviously I don't know the finer details of stuff like that. A part of me feels like building the Titanic up to a point, save a blueprint of it, and then... <laughs> Build an aircraft carrier version where um, I use the blueprint to basically get the uh, probably up to the boiler rooms and then the funnel system off to the where's the bow and then like basically I feel like building an aircraft carrier version of the Titanic it I kind of want to do it like I Again, ever since I was 10, so 21 years ago, I've always wondered what would the Titanic look like had they converted it into something like the Langley, or the USS Langley, America's first aircraft carrier, which was a former uh, Collier ship, which, uh, if you're not familiar with those, basically it's a coal carrier, because back in ye olden times, ships uh, carried coal, we didn't have any naval bases spread across the world. So, yeah. I don't know. I feel like that's one of those projects where it's just like I probably asking myself halfway through going, why? Okay. Time to get the... Do, 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 do. Come on. Of course, it, it this is one of the downsides of survival. This is kind of tedious, but fortunately, most of the actual work is, well, the hull. Like, this is just the finer details. I don't have to do this too much. Knock on wood. Oh, another cargo ship. I, I feel like it's cargo ships, but at the same time, I don't know if it's the uh, ship inventory. Yeah, I'll save these for last. But yeah, otherwise, um, other than the Yamato that I still want to build... Um, I am kind of re-watching Battlestar Galactica, the 2004. Uh, TV series, which, yeah, I kind of grew up watching that. That one, not the, what was it, 78? Yeah. Alright, Again, yes, I am resisting the urge to build a Battlestar. If anything, I should be building a Star Destroyer, but here I am building a freaking uh, space ocean liner. I know what I said. Leave me alone. Uh oh. I thought I was done. And the reason I'm framing these will become evident. I don't know if you... Can real I, I, you should be able to tell in the 
time-lapse videos, but basically what I end up doing is I name all the um, functionable blocks while they're marked as incomplete, because I am sticking with... I'm doing this one compartment as a, at a time. As we fly over here to get charged up. Why am I seeing the sun through the ship? Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. I'm going to take some more of these. I should be good. Uh, do I need the large steel tubes? Uh, what else do I need? I'm trying to maintain about a thousand of each component within some reason. Though, interior plates right now, I need a crap ton just because of the conveyor junctions. But... Oh, it's so beautiful. Thank you. Alrighty. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. And here, I forgot to install the door. So yeah, it again, I want everything to be accessible without a jetpack, especially if the ship has to start taking evasive maneuvers for whatever reason, be it space pirates or uh, what have you. All right. Uh, ah, crap. Did I forget to grab the... Oh, I did not name these. I feel like I should, but at the same time, I feel like because I put them in... Okay, that actually works. I don't get it. Oh well. Uh, yeah, let's let's go for some consistency, just for the sake of my OCD. I'm sorry. All right. Oh, I will, you know, for crying out loud. I will need, uh, oxygen, or not oxygen, uh, large steel tubes. Alright, a little quick pass. So, yeah, it, if anything, um, it, this is so... So much more relaxing. Alright, let's just deposit what we get. Yeah, construction components have been one of the banes of my existence so far. I'm sorry, what, what? Okay, that was weird. Let me out. Oi!
Alright, construction components and large steel tubes. Not what I wanted. Quick recharge and components. I need these and where are they? Alright, not a lot of large steel tubes, but then again, they're one of those bulky items that you hate to transport. And yes, there is momentary lag spikes, but I think it's the inventory trying to recognize that, oh hey, new uh, block. And unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be able to run a script that shows the inventory, because I know like for my space elevators, having so many cargo containers in the actual elevator shaft resulted in the, um, well, not just, let me show you. Like, I know it's incomplete, but right now it's working, which, when I say working, all these, uh, assemblers are producing, and it, I could easily double production, it's just I don't need to, but it's like, all this inventory is barely... Yeah, my inventory script, uh, I didn't come up with this. Um, it is on the Steam Workshop, but basically, uh, if you have too many containers, it, uh, for some reason breaks the script. It's kind of annoying. But then again, who's crazy enough to mine, uh, Trillions of kilograms of material in one frickin' go. Oh, I forget. Me. And what do I mean by that? Oh, just look at the deep, uh, you know, let's, let's fly down. It, it, it doesn't take that long since I have the speed of light mod. There's the mining ship. I don't know why it didn't load in sooner. And here we are, in my giant strip mine. Again, I don't get why the render distance is so small. I have it set to seven, not three. God, that looks beautiful. But I digress. Anyway, back to construction. Uh, that's the engine room. That's a lag spike. And here we are. Alright. Fortunately, once I build the uh, cargo rooms, I think the inventory should should be happy. I'm not sure if I'll have. Well, I think the first class passengers will have uh, cargo containers in their room, but that's well, they're the uh, they're the cream of the crop. They're the. Uh, the clientele I prefer to socialize with as Emperor. Steerage, eh. They can carry their own stuff. Although, I do have to laugh. Um, I've been watching a lot of documentaries recently about the Titanic. Uh, no particular reason that relates to a implosion or anything, but I do find it interesting how the third class passengers ate better on the Titanic, well, Olympic and would have on the Britannic, but basically the Olympic class ocean liners 
we're so luxurious third class we're basically eating like second class and second class we're eating like first class on other ocean liners which again it's just one of those small details where it's just like they really went uh, all out on the luxury let me out you didn't have to work on that then again i think if you're standing next to something as you're welding that's when you get locked up but all right now we just need to do these Slap in the last two. Not what I intended. Huh? Outdoor. Just need and there we go. Although, before I forget, what? Oh, okay. So yeah, this is basically how I keep track of uh, all the construction, or at least the grouping. So like, all these lights are set to the engine room lights, and yeah, I'm gonna add more lighting, it's just right now I just want to get everything framed up, at least on the tank top, and then go uh, floor by floor, or I should say deck by deck to uh, fill this out so uh, I'm going to end this episode here after oh for crying out loud I mean you don't really need to see me uh, frame well not, not frame so much as weld up the uh, whatchamacallit this little bit where I hide the uh, quote-unquote coal bunkers, or in this case, the ice bunkers. And of course, I love it when I do simple mistakes like that, but then again, hey. If I'm gonna play with mirroring, I might as well... Uh, accept that, yes, mistakes will be made. And you might, you might not see it, but when I do make those mistakes where I have to gut an entire compartment. Like, I did have to gut uh, the this ice bunker right here, because uh, if I go to the blueprints that I'm operating on, this is my grid... Um, um, my grid blueprint, where everything is scaled to... Um, small ship blocks in Space Engineer. So this coal bunker right here is five blocks, um, well, long, if you go from bow to stern. And this coal bunker, more or less, I mean, it, it says four, but I made it three in Space Engineers, mainly to take into account the space between the... Um, the boilers and the coal bunkers just so that way I can have some wiggle room inside because again I can't go to exact measurements but um, I did have to grind down this entire thing because I had this as three blocks long and like um, like this I mean yeah it's four but when I say three 
I'm not including the uh, the walls separating the um, cargo containers from the rest of the compartment. So it it's just one of those small little details. I don't know if I'll ever mention it in Energy the uh, yeah yeah yeah. Shut up, Karen. And again, this robot uh, voice doesn't uh, sass me like uh, Karen does to point them. But I digress. All right, we're gonna frame up these last blocks. Ah, screw it. I'm curious. So we're up to 154,000 uh, blocks. God, that's a uh, yowza. And a mass of over 5.3 thousand uh, tons. Beautiful. <laughs> I am nowhere close to being done. Well, once I get the... Um, I don't know uh, when the next episode will be. Maybe when I get the uh, boiler rooms or oxygen rooms done. But um, I know in the back of my mind, I'm trying to think of how to frame the uh, the ventilation system. Because I do want this all to be pressurized. Or have the possibility, maybe my computer reaches that limit that people keep telling me. Even though my computer is eight years old and she's doing a damn good job. Oh, yes, I'm patting my, my computer tower. Um, maybe I will get to a point of disabling it. Uh, at least pressurization. But for now, no. I am so upset that... Part of the railing fell off the real Titanic, but I digress. Um, but yes. So in the back of my mind, I am thinking of how to actually do the ventilation system. I think I know how, um, more or less. And I think I will share it. So if we go to, say, C deck... You have a lot of these uh, long hallways, and so I'm thinking of hiding the conveyor, um, the conveyor belts for oxygen within, like uh, the spacing, like in between the deck and the walls. Yes, I am going to actually frame this out. So, say here's the deck. Basically, what I'm thinking is going like this. Where... So, say this is the decking. I'm going to hide the conveyors... inside the actual deck in between the walls so this is my plan that i have in the back of my head i am still trying to think of better ways to do it but if nothing else that's just what i'm gonna do but again i am not near that point yet i mean this is boiler room three i still have four five and then six six won't take nearly as long because it can only hold four um, quote-unquote boilers. Well, I say quote-unquote. The real Titanic Boiler Room 6 only had four double-ended boilers because, well, if you see here, this is where the hull starts to uh, go into that bow shape as I almost hit this uh, measuring stick that I need to remove. But I digress, so... So yeah, this was uh, installing the uh, 
spoilers. I mean, we are in the fitting out ward, even though technically I feel like I should have more uh, of the decking built. I I want accessibility. This is not a real ship uh, in the real world, so... Well, I mean, it was, but the thing I'm building is not. But that's all well okay. All right, let's check the powers. These are not running. Not what I wanted. Okay, power, power. Wait. This is why I installed this. Okay, we only have 2% power. What the hell, guys? Oh, we got four hours. All right. That's all well okay. Anywho, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye. All right. Uh, do I need... Is there something wrong with me? Reinforcements on... Actually, don't answer that. I'll just say... Ready yes. for action. Upgrade in pro... You've let unidentified... <laughs>